What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna change the hydraulic fluid on the David Brown uh, 780. So I, I did the uh, fuel filters uh, right after I got the tractor. I didn't get a video of that but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just like most tractors it comes with the pump so that you can uh, bleed all the air out of the filters. Anyway, so what you're gonna need filter uh, it was about, I don't know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks on eBay. I'm an eBay shopper. Uh, 14 millimeter with extension and a 28 millimeter. You don't have to have that long of an extension, but uh, it just makes it easier for me. And then two five gallon buckets, because this does hold six gallons, 24 quarts. Uh, and why fill one up to the brim and then have uh, one gallon in the other, I figure I'll put three gallons in each, make it easier to carry, uh, less likely to spill. So, here you have, hopefully this focuses in this light, there you go. So that is what houses the filter, and yay, the camera is actually working for me today. Uh, so there is your 28 millimeter drain plug or well it takes a 28 millimeter socket so I'm going to uh, break this loose here and we'll get to work all right so I just wanted to update real quick uh, I'm draining the filter pan I forgot to include the details on that real simple uh, well there we are a little brass fill plug no magnet or anything on it um, that is a uses a 15 millimeter wrench. So this time it went a little bit smoother than the last time I tried to drain something on YouTube, and uh, I didn't make a mess all over the place. So uh, we're just gonna let these two drain for a while, and uh, because that drain plug isn't on the very bottom on that filter pan, when you pull that down or you crack that seal loose, you're gonna want to be careful because you're gonna end up getting hydraulic fluid all over the place. All right, so got a couple of these loose. Gonna continue uh, go all the way around here. So, looks like they just used RTV for the gasket seal instead of buying a new one, which in my mind is okay. Uh, not a big deal. I love RTV, I think it does a heck of a job. So, as usual, I'm going to wire wheel all of these bolts and get them cleaned up because I really don't like putting dirty bolts back in holes okay so I also had to turn the music up because I really like this song I don't know who does it but Okay, so here we go. So I'm just gonna give it a good whack. There we go. All right, look at that. I will uh, here. You guys can see. So you can see that there was definitely some moisture in there. Uh, from rain getting through those leaky boots that I replaced in the last video. But uh, I, have, I have that new filter we're gonna put in there and uh, give me just a sec and we will get to that. All right guys, so getting back to it now. Uh, got the cover off and uh, I swapped the bucket out for a drip pan and we're gonna remove these screens from the main filter 
So I've never done this before, so we're going to get to learn together, I guess. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, by the way, you can see there is quite a bit of moisture in this transmission fluid. So I'm going to set you down and uh, I guess just start tugging and pulling and, and see what happens. Okay, so that just pops off, that's nice, let's see, oh no, okay, so that just, ooh yeah, that's nice, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but that is some beautiful stuff coming out of that filter, okay. So, I am going to get some paper towels so I can pick up the camera. Oh, I guess I might as well take this guy off while I'm at it. And that gasket's totally done. Uh, I might need to get a new gasket for that. I was planning on just doing RTV, but we'll see. They did RTV plus the gasket. Um, I'm going to let that drip drain a little bit and I'll come back and get you guys once I can pick up the camera. So I have the pan all cleaned up. I uh, wire wheeled it and then cleaned it off with brake clean. And uh, my eight bolts are wire wheeled. And there's a new filter. And there is the magnetic filter. So you can see there at one point they hit a rock or something. There's a couple welds in there. It doesn't leak. But I guess when they hit that rock they also bent that. So once I'm done cleaning this up I'm going to see if I can straighten that out. It's not too big of a deal because the actual mating surface is, uh, isn't is bent. I looked at it. so. Uh, it's not not really that big of a deal, but just for my own sake, I kind of like to straighten things out when I find them like that. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I had to go get some new RTV. I'm finishing this video up a little bit later. Uh, supposed to finish it yesterday. I, I let the hydraulic fluid drain out overnight. So uh, then the next day I ran out to town a bunch of times and didn't know that I was out of RTV or didn't have enough for the job. So uh, it waited another day. Didn't feel like going out again, but anyway, I think I'm just going to go with RTV on that. I don't think that uh, it's going to be totally necessary to buy another gasket. And I really doubt that our local Case IH dealer has one of those gaskets. So, uh, set you up on the ammo can and uh, get some gasoline to flush that out with. Alright, I guess I should start by doing it this way. All those contaminants out of that screen. It looks like uh, actually cleaned up pretty good. There's a little bit of uh, paper towel stuck to it. That must have been from the last guy that cleaned it out. Okay. Not a whole lot came out of it. That's a good thing. little bit of color, a little bit of uh, some small metal flakes, but that's that's kind of to be expected. Metal flakes are going to come out of uh, every transmission. It doesn't matter if it's your car, your truck, your tr tractor, 
riding lawnmower, you're always going to find just a little tiny bit. Talk to anybody that's ever rebuilt a transmission. Okay, so we have uh, RTV on the uh, filter pan. We have our mating surface up here all cleaned up and degreased. Everything's ready to go. Like I said, bolts wire wheeled, filter cleaned out. O-ring has some lubrication on it. So we're going to put this guy back together. So because... Here, let's see if that's any better. Because I don't have another filter, or I'm sorry, gasket, uh, this just goes on, by the way. You just plop. There you go. Because we don't have a gasket, I put quite a bit of RTV on it. And let's see. Come on, baby. There we go. Just like that. So we're going to have to let this sit for 24 hours just to be sure before uh, huh. that doesn't uh, that's not working I wonder if it's because this is sticking down that's got to be it okay well it looks like I'm going to have to straighten that out um, I don't see any other way around it. That's preventing the uh, the pan from going on. So let's back up a little bit. I'm going to straighten that out and we'll get back to the video. Okay, so I just took the old filter out from the garbage and I uh, measured it against uh, this one and everything is the same so I'm guessing that use these bolts to suck this into place Uh, I guess so. So. Oh, that's what that spring's for. I see what's going on. Duh. There's a spring in the middle of that. That pre-filter, or that filter on the bottom. And so that's what I'm fighting right now with my hands. All right, there we have it. Wait for this RTV to cure properly and uh, we'll fill it back up. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.